Hello Lullas, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, listen. I haven't had much time to come and do a video, but I am making the time now. I was thinking, I was like, you know what? When I thought about it, I was like, you know what would have made sense? It would have made a lot of sense actually to actually have Ducky in this video. <laughs> but instead I had to have Cairo in here because he's just been my main focus lately. So I like to look at him and he's been here and this is his spot. So that is what it is. I'm setting up my display y'all. <laughs> Oh gosh, setting on my display. All right, so I received some hands and feet in the mail. I actually bought these. I had bought these to go with another uh, head, but I, I'm a little on the fence if they might not be big enough for that head, so I'm not gonna use them for that. So I just got have extra hands and feet. So I'll probably get another head to go with these. But let's start with the feet. We'll save the best for last. Just in case y'all out there looking for some hands and feet. <laughs> um, I got these from Kathy Romero. Um, she is Silicon Studio 2. And I think they were, I don't know, is it 75, 75, 85, something like that. Um, 65 I don't know there's something I don't remember the price this ain't no promo but these are the little feet <laughs> um, I actually like the toe these toes look like they're separate but they're not this one is separate and this one oh no it's not see it looks separate and this one is definitely separate I love how much space is between the big toe and these are together but I just, I think they're decent sized feet. Um, little ankle bone. A little, you know, little roll. This is the bottom of the feet. Everything is going to be all in the painting on the feet. So I do like these feet. So... They were fit a newborn size baby, probably up to a, probably like a 19 or 20 inch baby, I think, depending on the size of the baby. So I'm like, they probably could have worked with this other head, but I don't want to take the chance because once I paint them, that's it. Now, I'm kind of a little jealous because I would have loved to have use them with the duckies so I don't know we'll see but these hands and feet I believe are actually what's going to be on the, the full body ducky so this is just an option probably you could use it with the ducky um, I mean Billy is the sculpt name the Billy uh, head of course it would work perfect because it's going to be on the full body so mine, my ducky has a different, different ones. Okay, let me, I always do this wrong. Okay, so yeah. All right, so. All right, so these are the hands. Let's see. And let's see, is this the way? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be knowing. But we're going to put it like this. And then I'm going to try to zoom in. Let's see. There we go. All right. All right. So these are the hands. And when she was showing them in the group, it looked like they were going to. I was like, oh gosh, not fat fingers. Because I was like, 
I, Ducky needs more dainty hands. So I was so happy and pleased when I got them to find that the fingers are dainty. Look at that. And they have like nice detail in the, yeah, just a little detail in it. And the nail beds are really nice. Hold on, come on. I hate this sometimes that this thing does this. Ugh. Okay. But this this is the the nail beds are really nice. The nail beds are also nice on the, the feet too. So this is the there we go. There we go. You see the finger, the nail beds? All right, now this is the inside of the hand. So this is pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. All right, so those are the hands. Let me show you the, the, the toenail beds because I didn't do that. So you guys can see. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah. So give me something to work with. I'm gonna take my time. I got me some smaller brushes and try to give the toes a lot more detail. So when I paint these feet, hopefully I could put in a lot of detail and make them really pretty. That's my New Year's resolution that I spend more time on toenails <laughs> and fingernails. Um, I always have a different focus on what I want to do and try to be better than I was before. So, there's that. So, we will see how that goes. I'm excited, excited, excited. So, all right. I just thought I would share those. So, you know, they're fairly reasonable. You know, I always say that I really love that their pricing is reasonable and you don't have to totally break the bank. And it, it matters a lot for people like me because I don't do custom. So a lot of times I have to pay for these kits and this stuff up front. And that's a lot of money sometimes that, you know, you just have sitting. And you don't get reimbursed your money until it sells. So it kind of sucks sometimes when, you know, the kits are very, very expensive. And don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes the kits are worth every single penny that is spent. It's just that, you know, when you have to pay it up front, sometimes it's like, ah. You know, um, you know, spending three thousand dollars on a kit is not <laughs> easy to just be like, oh, well, I'm gonna spend three thousand here, another three thousand there, another two thousand here, and I'll just let ten thousand dollars sit until hopefully I get a chance to paint it and sell it, and you know what I mean? It's 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 a lot of investment. So if I can keep the cost down up front, it helps, but. You know, of course, I'm not going to invest in just anything. I'm only going to invest in things that I, I find, find value in or I feel like I can work with, um, you know, with with my skill level. Because everybody have different skill levels. Some people can paint, you know, bubble gum <laughs> and make it look good. You know what I mean? Um, so, but... I still got work to do. I don't feel like I'm to that point yet, but 
I do my best. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the little quick little review. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.